Hi, my name is Robin Moffat. I'm a developer advocate at Confluence. And this is the second day of 12 days of single message transform videos and blogs that I'm making. And today I want to show you all about two very useful single message transformations. And these let you take values from or fields from a value in a Kafka message and overwrite it into the key. And there's another one which lets you take a struct uh, in a key or a value and extract that into just a primitive field in the key or value itself. That's a bunch of words. Let's actually see what that looks like in practice. So the example I'm going to show you is a very common one for this particular combination of single message transformations. And this is taking data out of a database. So let's set up our database. I'm going to use MySQL, but you could use any database. And we're going to create ourselves a table called customers. And we're going to stick some dummy data into it. So we've created the table and we're going to insert a bunch of rows. So if you wonder why I keep on looking down at this other screen over here, it's because I've got a little cheat sheet here. And this is uh, on GitHub. You can go to the demo scene repository on GitHub. I'll put the link uh, in the video notes. And from that, you can actually try this out uh, yourself. So I'll put that back down here. And what we can do is with that database, we can now take data and stream it into a Kafka topic. So we're going to use the uh, Kafka Connect JDBC source connector. And if I show you what that looks like, this is the documentation for the connector. You can you hook it up to pretty much any JDBC uh, database or database that supports JDBC connections. So Oracle, DB2, SQL Server, MySQL, and so on and so on. There's other ways of getting data out of a database, um, but JDBC Source Connector is one of the good ones. There's another blog that I've written. Um, you can go and have a look at that, which goes into the Source Connector in a bunch more detail. Um, it goes into kind of like some of the problems you may hit, uh, some of the specific configurations, including the one I'm going to show you today. So let's create our source connector. And we're going to clear the screen here. And this is what our source connector looks like. We're saying we use the JDBC source connector. We're going to get to connect to MySQL. And we're going to ingest data from this particular table here. So that pulls the data in. And the JDBC source connector, like several other connectors, it doesn't set a, a key for your message. So Kafka message, they're key value bytes. So we've got the value um, of the table, so like the, uh, the customer name and so on and so on. That all goes into the value part of the message. But the key part of a Kafka message is also really important. It determines by default which partition that message is going to go into. It's also really important when we do things like joining between different topics, which we might want to do in Kafka Streams or KSQL DB. So a lot of the time we actually want to make sure we're setting a key for the messages correctly. If we have a look at the data that we've got by default, if we don't uh, override anything in the default connector, as I say, I'm using the JDBC source connector, but there's plenty of other connectors that this will apply to, which also don't set a key. So I'm going to look at the data that we've got. Uh, here's the topic that we're populating, MySQL customers. And here's one of those messages uh, from the topic. So here's the, the topic name, the partition, the offset, the timestamp of it. And we can see there the key is null. There's our payload. Like I mentioned, the value that actually comes from the table, but the key itself is null which means that as we ingest messages into that topic, they'll just get round robin across the different partitions. We get a nice even distributed distribution of messages across those partitions. But sometimes we actually want to make sure we've got specific messages for a given key in a particular partition. That's really important when we start doing things like joining. Also, if we want to consume that data in parallel and apply some business processing to it, we want to make sure that in each instance of an application reading from partition, it gets all of the messages that it's supposed to. So let's see how we can actually set that key correctly. We're going to update our connector and we do it in two different stages. So I can show you the differences along the way. We're going to show this over here and open this up here. And the first uh, transformation we're going to use this is value to key. So value to key is, as it says on the documentation, it's going to take a, a field from the value of the message and overwrite the key. So in our case here, we're going to take a value from the field, sorry, a field from the value, which is the ID, the customer ID, I'm going to overwrite the key with it. So that looks like this. I'm going to use pretty much exactly the same configuration as before. And I'm actually using a put here, so it's just going to update that existing connector. Oh, sorry, it's not going to update it. This is a, we're using a new number, so it's going to create an additional connector. We're going to write to a new topic, so we can actually compare them side by side. So creating a new connector, new name, new destination topic. And now we're saying we're going to add in a single message transformation. 
So we give it an alias, a label, copy ID to key, and then it's got a type. The type is value to key, and this particular SMT, it needs some configuration, which is which field do you want to take from the value to write into the key? And we're saying, well, it's called ID. So we set that running, and if we say, let's go and have a look at that data. So we've got Kafka cat here, and we're going to say, let's have a look at the data in this particular topic. So MySQL-01, we can see now, if I page up a little bit, we've got the new topic that we're writing to, and we've got the payload as before, but the key now has ID equals one within it. But it's also brought across the schema. So it's a, it's a struct, it's got a field name equals one. A lot of the time, we actually just want the value itself. So the value of that field written into the key. So for customer ID one, which is what this payload is for, we want the key simply to be one. So that's where the second single mesh transformation comes in. That's what this one does here, the extract field transformation. So this goes through and it takes the field out of a struct and puts just the primitive value in place. So let's see what that looks like. We can see down here, if we combine the two, and you very often see these two uh, single message transformations used as a pair for exactly this reason, because they're uh, excellent for doing this. So we're going to do copy ID to key, which is what we did before. And then we're going to say extract the key from its struct. And again, this is just a label, because what that does is the type is extract field. And here we say dollar key, because we want to extract a field from the key part of the message and we extract out the field that's called ID. If we put extract field dollar value, then it would apply this to the value part of the message. We don't want to do that. Again, we're creating a new connector. So this is dash zero two, which means we'll have a new uh, topic. So let's have a look at the list of topics. Again, using Kafka cat to do this. If you're not familiar with Kafka cat, go and check it out because it's absolutely awesome. Here I'm saying, show me the list of um, the metadata on the brokers. Uh, send it in JSON format, and then we're using GQ just to list out a list of topics. So here's my topics, a bunch of internal ones, and then here, MySQL uh, 02 customers. And let's have a look at that data. So Kafka Cat here, this is on my uh, clipboard, on Bash History. And there's our new topic, there's our new messages. And down here is our key set to the value of one, and then the payload as it was before. So, a fairly simple example, but a very powerful one of how you can use single message transformations just to make those little modifications to your data as it passes through your pipeline to mean that when the data arrives in Kafka, it's now got a key set correctly on it. So we used the value to key single message transformation and said take a uh, field from the value, write it into the key part of the message. And then we use the extract field uh, single message transformation to say take the struct that we've written into the key and extract out just the value of that and overwrite that into the key. So hopefully that was useful. Go and try it out on GitHub um, and subscribe to the channel and sign up and stay tuned for many more single message transformation videos.